If you heard of the latest Java Update 7 that actually compromises your internet security by allowing the Java plugin to be exploited by just about any bad guy, you're probably wondering how to turn that plugin off in your web browser, and I have the answer to your question. This is the 100th episode of TQA Weekly and I'm your host Steve Smith aka Z Axis and today we are going to be talking about web plugins and add-ons and things like Flash and Java and you're not necessarily using these plugins or software so how about I teach you how to turn off this really great big gaping hole of vulnerability in Java which allows any bad guy to gain control of your computer through the internet and basically do any malicious act with it. So, and by the way, this does not matter if you're using Linux, Microsoft Windows, or Apple. And yes, Apple is and currently always being attacked through the Java vector of the internet. So learning how to turn off Java is the most important skill you're gonna have for right now. So in Chrome, all you need to do is type in the address bar, chrome colon double backslash plugins, scroll down and turn anything off that's related to Java by clicking disable. In Mozilla Firefox, you'll click the Firefox or Tools button, click add-ons. In the add-ons panel, you click on plugins, click on Java, then hit disable. Safari, it's under the Safari menace, click preferences, security, and uncheck enable Java. So that's how much Apple knows this is insecure. In Opera, you've got two choices to deal with. Turn off all plugins or uninstall Java. So if you're gonna turn off all the plugins, basically that's all they allow you to do, you'll go into the advanced tab and go under the enable plugins and uncheck it if it's checked. Otherwise, you have to uninstall Java to get it to turn off in Opera or change browser and finally to disable Java in Internet Explorer the most popular web browser used for downloading Safari Chrome Firefox or Opera by the way um, you'll go into the tools menu manage add-ons select Java plugin and then click disable of course that is specific to Internet Explorer 7 and on if you have anything lower than that shame on you and download the latest version of chrome mozilla firefox Safari, opera or upgrade update your version of internet explorer if you have any questions comments suggestions and or stories about this email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or you can go to my contact form on tqaweekly.com or if you see a con a comments section on this page if you didn't download it or watch it on a website write it down in the comments box below then i'll answer it when i see those messages and i do check them fairly regularly what about next week topic well next week's topic puts me at episode 101 and i know there's a lot of people a lot of people like you that may have their own show so you probably have it on YouTube, maybe blip.tv or some other place on the internet. And you know, like you want to make your audience bigger, but you don't necessarily have the know-how. So I'm going to explain how to make the iTunes feed, which is the normal podcasting feed that all podcasters use. I'm going to explain how to get it validated. So to know if you made any mistakes, I'm going to explain how to get yourself a download tracker, a free service basically to allow you to count the number of unique downloads of each of your episodes so you have an idea of how big your audience is. I'll explain the difference between using your own address for your feed and using that tracker address. And of course, I'll explain how to get it submitted on things like iTunes. That way you can be seen by millions of people probably interested in what you have to say. Remember to like this episode if you're interested in today's topic, share if you think someone else could benefit from this topic, and subscribe if you wish to learn more. For more show notes on this episode and other, for more information on how to subscribe to this episode, there are other ways of watching this show, 
or how to subscribe to our weekly newsletter, participate by submitting your questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories, head over to tqaweekly.com. Stay safe and online and have a great day. Goodbye.